Fortune oh, Friday Ask Me Anything series and today I have a question from Manisha and I'm reading it right here. Manisha has written, I have started earning and many of my colleagues tell me to invest via apps, apps like Zerodha Grow. But is it okay to invest via these apps? Brilliant. So let's begin answering it. I'm repeating it. Manisha is saying she started earning money. Her colleagues are investing. They're investing via apps and apps like Zerodha Grow. And she's wondering if it's okay to invest via these apps. So <clears throat> these apps have made life really, really easy for investors with a click of a button. Yeah, you can download the apps and you can begin investing. So convenient, accessible, easy. These apps have really made investors life easy. Right? In the past, there used to be brokers and now there are these apps. Times have changed, we've advanced, technology has taken its root in and brokers have translated into these big time apps. So while they are making investing easy, the challenge remains the same. Do you want to invest via tips? So you can invest via any broker. You can invest via any apps. Of course, you need to look at their terms and conditions. You know, some help you invest directly while others give you regular plans, which means there are more commissions that they charge. So which are those apps you want to choose? Do you want to choose the apps with lesser commission, more commission? But the bottom line remains the same. Where do you invest? You can invest via apps. You can invest via brokers. But what do you invest in? That remains a question. So the first step when you're beginning to earn and you can see your colleagues investing via these apps the first step is not to download the apps and invest via them. The first step is identifying where to invest. Example, identifying which are those mutual funds you should be investing in. And for that, you need to know what is that step-by-step -step methodology to pick good quality mutual funds. You got to use that methodology invest in mutual funds and identify mutual funds and then when it times to invest yes you can pick these apps so step one financial education step two applying the education and identifying good quality investments step three investing via these apps or any other brokers so make sure you're following this method. Okay. You no more need to make mistakes. You no more need to lose money. You no more need to collect baggage of losing money. Take the financial education route. Learn. Identify good quality investments and then invest. That's the way forward. Thank you so much for listening. And if you're ready for financial education, you want to learn all about investments, money, investment planning, financial planning, financial goal building and more. Join in. Join us for a free introduction to the flagship course of ours which is called Money Gym. It's your personal finance blueprint. This 90 minute free introduction is happening on Sunday. Sunday 11 a.m. online. The link to join this is in the bio connect fill the form come right in explore it may require that you go beyond your blocks you go beyond your barriers but it's worth it because your critical financial goals are at stake so see you around and more power to you and each woman who is striving for financial education Take charge.